Hey guys, it's Sarah from She's Crafty and She Knows It and I'm here to show you how to make this really cute DIY pom-pom pillow. So let's get started. So I've already made a bunch of these adorable pom-poms. They're super fluffy and cute. And I already posted a video showing you how to make pom-poms. And so you can go back and watch that video if you want to. But for the sake of time and making it easy for you, I'm just going to play that video real quick right here so you can get the idea of how to do it. To make these pom-poms, I wrap the yarn around the legs of this chair 60 times. And this is a medium weight yarn, which I'll link in the description below this video. After I wrap the yarn around the legs, I tied five separate pieces of yarn around the yarn that's between the legs. This allowed me to make five pom-poms at one time. If you want six pom-poms at one time, you would tie six separate pieces of yarn around the yarn between the legs. If you want to make four pom-poms, you'll tie four pieces of yarn. You get the idea. Now after you've tied all five pieces of yarn around the yarn in between the legs, you're going to cut in between each spot that you tied off. This will give you five little pom-poms. Now when you first cut the pom-poms apart, they'll be a little wonky looking. Wonky is a technical term. Okay, not really. But they're just going to be a little misshapen and goofy looking. Now you're going to fluff them up and trim any long pieces off. Just keep trimming and trimming until they're even looking and fluffy. Now if this sped up version of me making the pom-poms isn't quite helpful enough, you can find the link to the full, slowed down, and more detailed version in the description below this video. So the link in the description of this video will take you to the full how to make a pom-pom tutorial video. So you can go watch that video when you're ready to make your pom-poms and then come back and watch this video when you're ready to make the pillow part. And so right here I have 49 pom-poms. So seven across, seven down, and they're gonna be squished together. So I've laid them out, since I did multiple colors, I went ahead and laid them out the way that I would want them to look on the pillow just so that it goes faster when I'm actually gluing them all together. So make as many pom-poms as you want and then go ahead and lay them out, squish them together so you can get the idea of the size for your pillow. Okay, so let's go ahead and make the pillow that the pom-poms are gonna go on. So first you're gonna cut two pieces of muslin fabric in the size that you want your pillow. So I went ahead and cut my muslin in 12 inch squares. So I have two 12 inch squares. I was thinking my pillow's gonna be about 11 inches by 11 inches. And so this way I have an extra inch to play with when I'm hot gluing the pieces together. So. You make whatever size you want. To figure out the size, I kind of laid the pom-poms that I want to use, the 49 of them, together in a square the way I wanted it and smushed them together to kind of see the measurement and get an idea of how big it would be. And then I cut my, my fabric accordingly. So go ahead, I went ahead and just drew a 12 inch square on there with pin and I cut it out with my fabric scissors. And so here I am with my two pieces of muslin fabric. So I have my hot glue gun here. I'm gonna basically glue it together and then turn it inside out. So since I'm doing it that way, I'm gonna do my pin marks facing out so that once I glue it, the pin marks will be on the inside. So for this, you're gonna line it up. And I'm gonna start in this top corner actually. And I'm gonna hot glue. You're just gonna hot glue around the edge, but we're gonna leave an opening so that we can turn it inside out and stuff it. So press on it so it really seals together. You know, you have a period of time while you're doing hot glue that you can pull it apart. So if something's not straight, pull it apart real quick before it is stuck together. And you want to kind of be able to do a little bit of a straight line. So you want it to be straight so that we, we're going to turn it inside out later. You want it to be a pretty even seam. It's going to look like a seam as if you sewed it. So this is a no-sew pillow. If you know me, if you watch my other videos, you know that I love no-sew stuff. I have a sewing machine. I actually love sewing. It just is kind of a headache for me to get the sewing machine out, for me to find time to do it. Um, I have three little girls, and so it's just a lot easier to get my fabric and hot glue gun out. And I don't really feel like I can just leave the sewing machine sitting out necessarily, and they're going to touch it and mess with it. And so it's just a lot easier to get my fabric and hot glue gun out and do something than it is to set up the sewing machine every single time. So I'm going to leave a spot open so that I can stuff it once I turn it inside out. So put some more glue on this side. Just, we're going to leave an opening though. You don't need too huge of an opening really uh, to get the stuffing in. So now I have my little opening like this. What I'm going to do is I'm going to turn the pillow inside out. Hot glue dries pretty fast so you don't really have to wait for it to dry. It should be dry unless you did globs and globs. So turn it. And don't worry if there's a spot you realize that the hot glue didn't hold well, you need to fix it, we can go back and fix that. No big deal. So there, we've made our little 
our own little pillowcase. I have my polyfill that I got at the store. It's a huge bag. It comes with a little dowel rod that you can use to stuff it to the corners of whatever you're stuffing. So get your bag of polyfill. Guys, I will link all the supplies uh, in the description below this video. And I'll also put a link to my blog post for more pictures and more ideas. Okay, I'm going to get a big chunk of polyfill. I'm just going to pull it apart in small pieces and you're going to stuff it in this opening. Now it's going to take a good bit. And this is one of those things where you can stuff it a little bit and have kind of a flat pillow. Or you can stuff it a lot and have a huge pillow. So I know some people might want to glue the pom-poms onto the fabric before you glue the fabric together. I did this because it's just easier to do it where you glue it and you turn it inside out. And with the pom-poms already on it, it would be a little bit harder to do it that way. But also because I like to be able to see where I'm gluing the pom-poms to see exactly how big it ended up looking, how it looks when it's stuffed. So keep stuffing it until it's as full as you want it. So you can see it's looking pretty cute. A cute little pillow. Okay, now I have my little dowel rod, this little stick that they put in the polyfill, and I'm going to use it to kind of poke the stuffing into the corners. So you have to just kind of push it around. You can also try and stick your hand in there. Sometimes, honestly, it feels easier to use your hands and have more control over what you're doing. Once you start pushing it to the ends and the corners, sometimes you realize you need a little bit more than you thought you did. Okay, it's looking really good. So now is the fun part of trying to glue this part back together. So you can see how it was kind of turned. Part of it actually came a little bit unglued. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna fold a little bit under. Because remember we had flipped it inside out. So this is where the glue was. Hopefully you can see that. There's already some that came apart. So we're gonna make like a little tiny hem and we're gonna put hot glue on it, and then we're gonna push the sides together. So I have my little spot. And guys, this is why we're doing it like this, because the pom-poms are going over it, so it really, it really doesn't matter. It'll be mostly covered up. And then we're gonna fold this side in too a little bit. So it's folded in. Hopefully you can see that really well. So I folded it in together, so it's making like a little um, seam like this. So see how this side looks kinda like it's been sewn, but it's just hot glue. I mean, it's a pretty seamless look actually, especially for something much faster, much easier than sewing. Okay, so now we have a little bit more to go. This is the worst part of the whole thing, the hardest part. Shouldn't say worst, the hardest part. So take your time with it, add a little bit more hot glue. It will kinda naturally start folding up since the other spot was folded. Okay, so now we got the very end corner. We're gonna kind of tuck it the way that it's supposed to be, see if it'll hold, and drop some glue in there. So just put glue on the part that you can get it on. So we're gonna tuck the corner in, I drop the glue in there, and like a little tiny, tiny corner is not quite glued, so I'm gonna just stick my little end of my hot glue gun in there, push some glue in, squeeze it out. I have a piece of paper right here that I'm gonna wipe the extra glue off with. It's too hot to touch with your hands, guys, when it first comes out, so don't burn yourself. If you have a paper towel or something, you can always get the extra. So, hey, there's our pillow. Since we glued that corner last, you have to kind of maneuver the stuffing around to get some up in that corner, but there's our pillow. I think the pillow looks super cute, it's ready. So now we have, remember we have our pom-poms we already made. They're up here, and we're gonna try and squeeze them onto this pillow. I'm gonna put them real tight and really close together. And so I'm just gonna kind of start by doing the outside border. So I already have my whole design. You can see right here, this is my whole design of what I'm doing. I already have it laid out over here. I have my pillow, and I'm just gonna start gluing on the border of it, and then we'll fill it in on the center. So I'll start, this is the bottom right. You take it, all you're gonna do, I'm gonna put a bunch of hot glue on the bottom of it, and I'm gonna smush it onto the pillow. So you're gonna need several hot glue sticks probably for this. And I want to kind of um, stick off a little bit onto the corner. If you have any drippage, it's okay, just get it. I'm gonna go across, my next one's pink. It's gonna go right next to it, so hot glue on the bottom, and it's gonna go right next to it. And I'm putting it where it's kind of going over the seam. So you're so those seams, that's why you don't need to worry about them that much, guys. It's really going to kind of cover it up with the pom-poms. So this is going to be really full. It's going to be super cute. I'm going to squish them together. Remember, I'm doing seven across. So, so this one really is the middle one. So you can see I'm gluing it onto the side where it's supposed to be, but it definitely is overlapping over the seam a little bit, so it'll be really puffy. You guys, y'all know by now, I am not the queen of perfection by any means. I'm more like the queen of have fun, get it done. Okay, on to the next one, we're keep going. Once we finish the border, it's gonna be a lot easier. We're just gonna keep going and filling the inside and that part will be easier. 
This is gonna use a lot of hot glue. So have your glue sticks ready. So, so just keep going. Keep going with your pom-poms around the border, following your pattern, hot gluing and sticking them on. So I chose to do all bright colors. This pillow is gonna be for my girl's room. Our oldest two daughters share a room and this is gonna be for their room. But you could definitely do, if you want something for your living room, you could do like all neutrals. You could do off-white and white blended together. Um, if you have an accent color that you use in your living room or your bedroom, your master bedroom, you could do that accent color. It's looking really cute. I'm just making sure everything is glued on really well on the border. So go around, make sure it's good. Now we're going to start filling it in. So I've gone ahead and kind of set the row up there just for spacing so that I can kind of see what I'm doing, how smushed together they need to be. And really if you wanted to, you could put the glue on the on the fabric instead. Either one. You might think it's easier to do it on the on the actual pillow part like this. I'm trying to get to where you can see. Put a big old blob and then we're smushing it in there. Okay, now I have my next row. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and do the top row now and we'll get to the middle last. That way I can really fill it in the way it needs to. And if you find that, uh oh, you know what? I don't have enough pom-poms. I thought I made them big enough and I didn't or I accidentally made the pillow a little bit too big. Then just stop what you're doing. Go back, make some more pom-poms. I actually have over on the side, add a lot of extra pink and an extra one of the dark one just in case I needed to fill some spots. So if I get to the end and it's like, oh my gosh, I need to cram one in there. I have extras to do that. So let's see, we have two more rows. Let's see if we have, if it will really fill it in enough. I think it will, we might want to like, I might use these extra ones actually. Do like that and really just stuff it in full. So I'm just gonna pick up the ones that aren't glued now and drop the glue in, just push it in. Now the hard part is remembering what you've glued and what you haven't glued. So just continue dropping hot glue in there. I'm using the hot glue faster than the glue gun can heat it up. So you might have to slow down a little bit. Okay, this seems to be our last one, unless I forgot one. Y'all are gonna laugh that I pick up the pillow and three pom-poms fall off. Hopefully that doesn't happen, so I'm just gonna push on the whole thing. Let's see, nothing fell off. I think we did it. I think it looks really cute. And after you're all the way done, you can definitely go back, pull on all of them, make sure everything's attached properly. You can also find in between where there's like little gaps you can make, you can stuff a pom-pom there, but it really is full enough. So you could just drop a little bit of hot glue in the little hole and kind of smush the pom-poms down and it'll catch some of the yarn that's on the bottom of the pom-pom and cover it up. And don't forget that all of the supplies used to make this DIY pom-pom pillow are linked in the description below this video. So there's the DIY pom-pom pillow. It's super cute. It was really easy. You can throw it on a bed, throw it on a sofa, uh, wherever you want, make it as big as you want. I think you're gonna love it. It's a super fun, easy craft. So if you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up and make sure you subscribe for more videos. Bye guys.